Pool Hustler. Hmm. I was really good friends with a dude when I lived in uh, White Plains. Well, I always play pool in White Plains. I lived in New Rochelle, yeah. New York. And I met this dude. His name was Johnny. And he was like this mathematical genius who was also homeless, who was a pool hustler. Whoa. And when I met him, he tried to hustle me in a game of pool. I was terrible at pool. I'm like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Because I could tell he was full of shit, but <laughs> yeah. he was funny. Right. And uh, I saw him there a bunch of times. We became friends. But he was like the first guy that I ever met that would tell you what he liked about the, th the stuff that you did. Mm. Like he would come with me to comedy shows and he'd be like, dude, that thing that you're doing. And he would like go into this like explanation. I loved it. Right. And he would ex like, like give you, like I know your, your generation likes to call it give you flowers. Yeah. <laughs> he would give you, he would give you love. <laughs> he would give you love that like, I was like, oh, nobody does this. Yeah. Everybody like, kind of like never compliments their friends. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, this doesn't hurt you to do that. I'm like, it doesn't change anything. But that's what I'm saying is that that's how different that thought is of what you're doing is back in the day you were a legitimate hustler if you made people feel good about themselves you're right. a con artist and no, now it's he, like no it's just what we should do yeah he, well he was a con artist but not like in the sense that he like it, it was almost like a half of a joke because he was a like a world-class professional pool player like he was just crazy yeah yeah and uh he had all sorts of like I, he was always trying to convince me to drive him to harlem so that he could score <laughs> it was why it was a wild friendship because i was a young boy at the time and uh i was pretty fucking straight laced mm -hmm. because most of my time like all through high school and into the time i was like 21 i was doing more martial arts tournament so i didn't drink hardly ever I right. mostly didn't do anything i was pretty like on the grind yeah and i met this dude who smoked crack yeah <laughs> <laughs> he did all kinds of drugs and he was gambling he'd stay up and sleep i would meet him in 24-hour pool halls like i would have like an audition in manhattan in the morning and i'd go uh hey man i go i got an audition in the morning are you going to be at chelsea and i'd meet him at chelsea billiards where he was sleeping mm -hmm. chelsea billiards was a 24-hour pool hall and dudes would sleep under the tables they would just go to sleep they didn't have a place to live mm -hmm. they just stayed at chelsea they they, they gave themselves pro like whore washes in the bathroom yeah, yeah, yeah. you know with like fucking paper towels whore wash. and uh but that was the first dude that i ever met that like he would talk about like even people he didn't like he would have like like this guy's a fucking asshole he goes but watch how he does this ah, that's cool. fire dude. yeah it was amazing like he would he would tell me what they did wrong and he would like explain it's all fucking ego it's all their old bullshit like hmm. they get scared when they think they might win Ooh. Hmm. like he had this like mindset of understanding psychology but he could look at a guy that he fucking genuinely hated and tell you dude he does that really well that's a beautiful thing dude he he was a honest guy you know, he was a, a wild, crazy dude, but he was an honest guy. And he was honest about it all the time. So it's like...